Hey guys, with us today, we have one of our striped white out fat tailed geckos. Now this is a full grown bad boy. Uh, he's one of our best breeders uh, and we just love what he produces. Um, we have to breed all of our uh, geckos uh, and all reptiles here at cbreptile.com. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we do produce healthy and beautiful morphs um, of all of our um, leopard geckos, uh, crested geckos, gargoyle geckos, and especially our fat tail geckos. Um, this guy right here, uh, he has a discernible stripe down the back of his body. Um, that is super amazing uh, and has to be bred into uh, these reptiles. Uh, however, I'd like to bring attention to his color. Uh, we call this one a white out uh, due to the white pigmentation in its skin uh, being extra, extra prominent as compared to the original or even the Oreo. Um, these white out ones have even darker patterns along their back and they do get a little bit lighter as they get older. Uh, however, um, they do start out very, very dark. Um, these guys are extremely beautiful uh, and one of my personal Just favorite a bit about these guys, uh, they do live uh, 10 to 20 years and they get about seven to nine inches long. This guy's about eight. Um, uh, so they have so many morphs. Uh, they come from West African deserts, so they love the dry heat, uh, but they really need a lot of humidity. Um, 50 to 70 percent of humidity inside of their terrarium. Uh, they need about 90 degree heat uh, in their hot part, as well as a 85 to about 75 degree uh, low part. Um, they need to hide in both of them because these are nocturnal creatures and they love to hide during the day. Uh, one of the hides should definitely have some moisture in it just to make sure you do that, just to make sure they get the uh, moisture that they require and it'll help with keeping the humidity up in the terrarium. Um, this would be really easy. All you have to do is put down some peat moss and make sure that it is uh, nice and moist. Uh, you can also moisten up uh, your foundation as well. Um, these guys are super aggressive as males, so you only want to keep one male in each terrarium. Uh, however, females aren't very aggressive. You can keep multiple in one. Um, so uh, these guys are amazing uh, because of the ability to uh, survive without UV bulbs. Uh, many reptiles um, love UV light. Uh, however, these guys are nocturnal, so they can survive without it. Um, that makes them a super, super great choice for beginners, uh, as well as people who uh, live in tight spaces. You don't want to have to uh, have too much going on in your tank. Uh, so that works out really well for them. Uh, so these guys are absolutely beautiful, uh, great beginner, and great for collections. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact us at cbreptile.com. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one, guys.